Well everyone, this is what competition looks like. It looks like Intel may be releasing a Core i7 8700K. Now this flagship it will be the first 6 core mainstream CPU from Intel. It looks to be bringing some very interesting features to the market. So for the details, the first processor is the Core i7 8700K. This chip has 6 cores and 12 threads, and the chip is clocked at a base frequency of 3.7 GHz as the minimum core frequency set at 0.8 GHz or 800 MHz, and that's going to be your idle mode. Now the chip does feature a boost clock of 4.3 GHz on a single core, 4.2 GHz on a dual core mode, while quad and hexa-core boost clocks are rated at 4 GHz, which is rather impressive for all of the cores to be running at. The CPU has a base clock frequency of 100 MHz, which is expected from Intel CPUs and even AMD are using that model as well lately. The chip features an unlocked multiplier as suggested by the IA Intel Architecture Overclock capable panel on the graph that we uh, included here in the video. Now the chip has dual channel memory support with the native speeds of 2400 MHz, much like KB Lake did. Now there is a total of 12 megabytes of smart cache on the processor and that's referring to the total L3 cache. The chip will be shipped with Intel's GT2 level graphics cord with a minimum clock speed of 350 megahertz. Now the interesting thing is this chip packs a 95 watt TDP and is compatible with LGA 1151 socket which means that Intel may allow Coffee Lake support on 200 series and even 100 series motherboards, although there will be a new chipset known as the Z390 launching alongside the chips. And the other two processors are quite interesting. There's another 95 watt chip that features clock speeds of a 3.2 gigahertz base with a 3.6 gigahertz uh, single core and dual core with a 3.4 total core boost. This chip also supports overclocking, but the clock speeds are rather low for it to be a Core i5 K series chip. The other is a 65 watt part that we can take a guess at the T series or the low TDP, which comes at a clock speed of 3.1 gigahertz base, but higher boost clocks of 4.2 on a single core and 4.1 dual and 3.9 all core boost clocks and the remaining specifications of the chips are kind of similar. Now, moving on, we do have a CPU-Z screenshot of an Intel Coffee Lake chip with 6 cores and 12 threads, but this chip shows an 80 watt TDP and a clock speed of 3.5 GHz which boosts to a 3.9 GHz across all cores. Uh, now, there's no such chip mentioned in the Intel manifesto, but it's really interesting find by the guys over at Video Cards, and it may turn out yet to be an early engineering sample which shows its final clock speed and TDP may be even higher. But that is the first bit of news that we've gathered up for the upcoming Coffee Lake series from Intel. It'll be an interesting move if they do allow it on the Z270 platform, and we still do have a motherboard sitting around that we would be more than happy to give that one a go for. Uh, let us know what you think about a 6-core mainstream party. Think it could have come sooner, or is it a good time? Uh, you know, AMD still does offer 8 cores and 16 threads on their mainstream parts. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what pricing is on this, and we look forward to hearing what you guys have to say about it. And as always, this is Keith with WCCF Tech TV, and if you found this video entertaining or informative whatsoever, feel free to leave a subscribe, like, and a comment, and we'll catch you guys all in the next video.